Welcome to the Skim Logic Pro setup. For this, you will need a Mac with Logic Pro, an iOS device, and a USB cable. First step will be to download the Skim app onto your iOS device. There will be a link in this video. The second step is to download the package for Mac. That link will also be in this video. As you go through the installer, make sure to select the DAWs and synths that you have already installed in your computer. In this step, we will connect our iOS device. First, go to Audio MIDI Setup on your Mac. Then plug in your iOS device with a USB cable to your Mac. You should see it show up in the list and press enable. Make sure to select don't use when it asks if you want to use your iPhone as an audio device. We're just using MIDI in this case. Now on your iOS device, go to settings and make sure the preset is on one of the user presets. Take note of whether it says 2D or 3D device above your settings. This will inform the kind of presets that we use. Now we can play skim. I'm going to add a new alchemy track. And I'm going to go into that instance of alchemy and search for a skim preset. If the installer worked, you should see them show up. Now choose a 2D preset if you have a 2D device, otherwise just choose a normal preset. Now at the bottom of Alchemy, you're going to change control A, B, C to 113, 114, and 115. If you don't want to do this every time you open up Alchemy, make sure to save that as a default preset. Now exit settings on your iOS device, and when you touch it, you should hear some sound. Now I'm going to go into control mode on the app by tapping the sine wave icon. I'm going to open up an EQ in Logic, and we're going to map the X dimension to frequency. So I press Command L and it brings up the MIDI Learn menu. On the app we're going to go into settings, and when we tap a label it will learn it to that parameter. Now I'm going to change the gain on the software, and I'm going to press the YCC label. Now I'm going to change the Q on the software, and I'm going to touch the ZCC label. Make sure to take it out of learn mode, and now if you go back out of settings, you should be able to perform that EQ. That's it. You've now set up Skim with Logic Pro. Be sure to watch the playing Skim video to see how you would use this in an everyday situation.